Good morning, YouTube. Wake up, sleepy people. Hope everything's off to a fine start at your house this morning. We're going over here this morning to uh, install a fuel pump. fuel filter on one of those little junky um, man's pride UTVs I know I don't work on this guy is such a good customer though that I could not take a chance to him of him I've been out to this guy's place this is the fourth time I've been out to this place to work on four different things on four different pieces of equipment yeah Just as easily get one of his mechanics. He, he runs a heavy equipment uh, service, and he can just as easily get one of his mechanics to go out and do it for, for him. And uh, but instead, he prefers to pay me. But with the price increases the way they are on ATVs. And uh, UTVs and, and side by sides, you see a lot more people taking the chance on those Chinese made clunkers. And that's what they are, they're clunkers. Uh, you pay, okay, the other day I was in, I was going into tractor supply to get some feed. I looked and they had the prices taped to the front of them. I think it was eight thousand thirty-nine dollars for a for a uh, I want to say I think it was a Mazuma. I can't remember. It's one of those little land pride looking things, and. Uh, I mean, starting out, they're already they're less than half price of a Honda Pioneer, of a new one, new Honda Pioneer or a Yamaha Viking. I don't know about the Polaris Ranger because I don't really look at the prices on them. So I'm not gonna buy one of them either. And uh, so, I mean, you take that's half the price. Think of, it, think of it like this. If they're selling it for $8,000, then they probably bought it for $4,000. And if they bought it for $4,000, it may have cost the producer $2,000 to build it. Because everybody's going to mark it up 100%. That's it. That's it. You mark it up 100%. So you're buying a two thousand. You're paying eight thousand dollars for two thousand dollar piece of equipment. Okay. Now let's take for instance, you buy a twenty thousand dollar Pioneer. Okay. If they bought it for ten thousand dollars. Then it probably costs about five thousand for it to be manufactured. So, are you getting twice the durability and twice the price? 
twice the standard, twice the durability, uh, twice the longevity. Because I had a man tell me the other day, you know, well, I bought this, this Lance Ride thing about six years ago. I ain't had a bit of problem out of it. Yes, sir. How hard have you been on it? Not really that hard. Okay. Question number two. How many hours you got on? About 400. It's four oil changes in six years. That's not using it very much. <coughs> Alright, if you can use it for 12 years without having any problems on it, where are you at then? Where are you at then? Get what you pay for. So, I mean, and I'm just whenever I when I talk bad about them, I used to work in a shop. It was back in 2004. Whenever they were, whenever I worked in a shop that sold those things, and we couldn't even hardly get them out of the shop. They'd come into the shop, and the bushes was coming out of the front ends, breaking off, you know, I mean, they arms breaking, this and that, and then this is like, holy cow, you know. All right, well, there you go. That's the reason, I mean, it's, whenever you work in a shop that sells them, you see a lot more of it. judge this man because this don't don't even belong to him it belongs to a friend of his that bought it that's on their deer lease and because this other man he's got two Polaris's uh, they've got uh, let's see what else they got a commander and then they got four wheelers and tractors everything else he's got I mean it's quality stuff so you know good and well it's not him this little black box here with a with the screws in it uh, contains a integrated circuit board with a few fuses in it you need to take it apart and check all your fuses and if they still, if they're all good, then you need to move on to troubleshooting your fuel pump. This is your fuel pump. When the key is on, you should have two wires with a constant 12 volt power. All your fuses are good. We need to test the fuel pump. To test the fuel pump with the key on, you need to run a jumper wire from your black ground to the frame anywhere on the frame a good ground if the fuel pump's good it'll run continuously so you need to go ahead and disconnect your jumper and reinsulate your wire at this point we know we got a good fuel pump but it, the engine still won't crank and run on its own Next, we need to test to see if we're getting signal from our ECU to the fuel pump. So we need to break in with a jumper coming out of our ECU, the purple wire, all the way over to the fuel pump, to the purple wire on the fuel pump. At this point, you should have a running, operating fuel pump. So go ahead and solder your wire into place, insulate it, and tie wrap it in place. Check your operations. If it still won't crank and run on its own, then you've got ECU problems and you're gonna need to get part numbers and order you a new ECU.